just like that picture. I would suck it if I could. You're not gonna tip me. You're not gonna tip me. Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host Brian. What's going on, everybody? We are back to talk one of our favorite, favorite reality TV shows. This is Temptation Island. Temptation Island Season 5, Episode 1, Same Island, New Twist. Brian, I know you are just as excited as I am. We did a preview with our boy Ray Rock a few weeks back. Check that out on the playlist, the Ray Rockers. Um, We did get to see some of the new changes that were teased in the trailer and the preview special. We didn't see all of them. But we did get to at least see that the initial cocktail party and intro party is with the all the couples and the singles at the same time. I thought that was an awesome way to change up the dynamic of the beginning of the season to actually not have to see it on the screen, what they're doing to see it live and in person is going to charge them way up and kind of, I think, accelerate the process a little bit, Brian. What do you think? Yeah, I completely agree. And the one thing I actually was thinking during this is, it's going to make that orb that lights up or the light a lot more suspenseful now because now they know like, Hey, they were connected with this person. Is it with this girl? Like I didn't like her. I didn't like him. So I think, especially for our girl, uh, we'll get there, Vanessa, but I just think some people are good. It's going to blow people up. Uh, now I will request one edit here, Brian, you know, we are always going to refer to this as the Palantir from now on. So insert like Saruman or Gandalf, like throwing the cloak on there. Like, Oh my God, what are you doing? dude? Like, stop it. That's, that would be me the whole season. I'd be Gandalf throwing the thing on top of it. You don't need that. eye, dude. No, you don't need to see that thing. Yeah. Um, there was a lot to kind of go through here. Um, some things we liked, some things we didn't like. I think what would make the most sense would be the kind of quickly run through our first impressions of the couples. But then I do want to jump to how the cocktail party ended because I it, the episode did leave me with a bad mm-hmm. taste in my mouth. For sure. Um, which, you know, I, I'm sure that's what a lot of our audience is going to talk about. I'm sure that was a lot of the, the comments on Twitter that we'll see over the next week. All right, we're going to start uh, with Caitlin and Hall. This is the longest tenured relationship. Caitlin and Hall are actually already engaged, Brian. They've been engaged for a year. They went through the history of the relationship. No cheating, three years dating, year and a half broken up, and then back together since for the cumulative balance of eight years. She brought him on the show because basically she's not excited. She's not planning for the future in the wedding at all. She's not amped to have kids where he wants a family. What is your vibe on Caitlin and Hall? So I kind of think that I kind of think that he's going to stay loyal and she's not. He seems like he's there and he came back and ready. And I think when we'll get to the bonfire and our favorite mm-hmm. host, Mark Wahlberg, because he really hit the nail on the head, I think, in their analysis. Um they have not had the hard conversations or talked about the right. reason why they broke up in the like three years or so they've been back together. Right. Brian, mm-hmm. or yeah. whatever two years has been, especially not since they've gotten engaged. And this guy is putting on the pleasant, like everything is good. And I'm happy. This guy's got to go. He knows, right? Like he, mm-hmm. he knows that like he screwed up and she doesn't trust him. And there's more to it than that. And, it's not all on her. And this is one that can tragically like go really wrong, or they can be like some of these secure couples that we've seen coming in do get to kind of reaffirm where they're at and leave together. I I'm going to lean that way, Brian, that they, they stay together and that she gets excited, but I would not be surprised with your prediction either that she, finds attention and maybe she realizes it's that she's just not in love with him anymore yeah and if um i i guess i we wouldn't know anything that they do it's just speculation with the orb but i I just i don't know i kind of feel like somebody she'll find a guy that is going to like give her attention appreciate her and i I just i don't know i feel like that she could do better based off of like the situation that won't be hurt yeah, I agree. So, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, and we'll, we'll can, see. before I, I don't want to jump around, but like you met the cocktail hour. She's like, "Oh, where is he?" And he's like constantly like not just walking away with another girl. Yeah. Like, man, it's 
it's not like you've been together for a year. You've been together for eight years to cold cumulatively. Like, give her a little bit of respect. This cocktail party, it was it all it does messy. is set you up for failure if you're in one of the couples. But like, just be smart. Just be chill. Yeah. If mm-hmm. you're one of the guys or one of the girls, even if you're upset, be chill. Be like respectful to your partner during that. And then go start doing your goofy crap once mm-hmm. you aren't with them anymore. It's literally mm-hmm. one cocktail party. Right. Um, <laughs> Paris and we're going to go with great. We're going by great. I was really uh, hoping you'd try. News Beku Kukwu. Close enough for me. Kula Kukwu. The nematode reference of Douglas. They're great. Um, Paris, twenty three, influencer. Great is twenty five. What is what did great? Do? He was an engineer. Engineer, that's right. He's from New York. Um, so. overall, not great on great. Great seems pretty um controlling. I know that was pretty good, right? Uh, I feel bad for Paris. Honestly, Paris just seems like somebody who's been treated not super well, and that makes her jealous and over top, and you know, just coming off a little hard. I mean, Paris is only 23 years old. You know what I mean? There's no, you yeah. don't need the, it's like, I just feel bad. This is one that I don't think has much of a shock. Great was a, has cheated, right? Yeah. I'm, that's the, I'm curious when that happened. Like, how early in the relationship did that happen? I think it's happened more than once. Oh, okay, yeah. She did say it was, uh, so than, frankly, I guess it doesn't matter. If it's two years, it can't be that long. That's like you said, like these young people in these short relationships. I don't understand why you go on the show. Yeah. Um, it was interesting to say that, like, oh, we've been together a year and a half and he's not talking about marriage. Yeah, I thought that was nuts. I thought that was absolutely like, nuts. Yeah, he's not going to. In that year and a half, he's cheated on you a bunch of times. Like, um Yeah, and why do you want to why do you want him to talk about it that like she's gotta sort her stuff out and he needs to sort his stuff out too. I agree. Um we are going to do Vanessa and Roberto next. Uh, Vanessa is, they've been together for one year. She is 34 to his 24. Yeah. Just like, uh, do we really need to say much else, Bri? Uh, I think really the main thing to say here is during the bonfire with Mark. I mean, him saying, she says, I have standards, and you you can either meet these standards or not. And then Mark said, well, what if he says he has standards? And she basically started to re- have that be a rebuttal saying, no, no, what do you mold? No. And he sa- basically said, what's he allowed to have? Do you want to mold him as, or do you want a partner? And it's like, he's like, you know the answer, Mark. She wants him to be exactly how she wants him to be. Mm-hmm. She wants him to somehow not be a 24-year-old. Right. And no other host would ask that question like that, which is why I appreciate him. Yeah, he calls her on his, her crap because yeah. you ha- this is not – look, I think Mark won't say this. And we've talked to Mark. You can actually see that interview. Mm-hmm. hope to, to talk to him again after this season. But it's like I think he knows pretty quickly in his mind some of these relationships that have no shot. And it really is then about like somebody going through the best journey they can go through. And I think the best thing for Vanessa is that she needs to realize that it's not always just your partner's faults and that you can have standards, but also your partner needs to have standards and Mm -hmm. they may not be the same standards. And you also just cannot attribute so much emotional stakes to these standards because it's pretty all or nothing. It seems like for Vanessa and it's, um, it's not going to work for a 24 year old dude. Right. And they're already arguing and telling each other the F off and they're making up. I just, there's no way this one lasts. No way. Um, last. And I kind of want to say least right now, Brian is Christopher and uh, Maricela. Um, Christopher and Maricela, two year relationship. The reason I think, I want to obviously say this was the end and the worst one was, I mean, there's no other way to put it. Like Chris outed her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She is, uh, and she confirms it on her, you know, confessional. So this isn't us doing anything like that. She is bisexual. And from the sounds of it and from what he was saying, they've had experiences together 
whether he was there or he was involved in those experiences as well, but basically said that like he kind of feels awkward because she sounds more pleasured by women than he's ever made her feel. She is shook. She gets up. I, I I don't know, Brian. This could be one of the worst things we've seen on the show, and I I'm very curious to see like how the house reacts. I hope the house has her back and lets them know this isn't okay. But I, how do you feel on it? Yeah, it's definitely unfortunate because like she said, like her family didn't know, her friends didn't know. Um, I hope so they how would... before tonight? Right, right, right. So, how? What do you mean, like the house, as in the singles or the couples? I I don't know how they. I hope other people say something. Like, if she brings up, because I think if she tells everyone, like, this is crazy and this happened, I would hope that people are like, you know, you can't do that. Yeah, I mean, I just hope. I know this is a show and they're drinking and partying fun, but like, I also I don't think Mark's gonna let that slide. Obviously. Oh, because Mark can watch the confessionals because they can show it on a thing, right? On a bonfire. Well, that wasn't confessionals. That that stuff happened while they were sitting around a, a table. So, I mean, the cameras were rolling. That's how well, I'm talking in her confessional. She said all these things. Oh, uh, yeah. But I'm yeah. No, I mean, I just think from the conversations and what was said, I mean, the, the camera guys and all were there. The producers are there. Yeah. I, there's. I think I they can. I think I think they do show confessionals on the bonfire. Yeah, I actually didn't even think about believing it. it doesn't get to Mark. That that info didn't get to Mark like the next morning when he was like getting the download of like what had happened. Yeah. So yeah, and then definitely Mark will probably say something to him. And it just I, I think the part that like I thought was the I mean, obviously it's not good to out anybody like that, but like, he was using it for his gain. And like she said that, and I totally get how she was she's like she he like just she was outed upset. me to try to spit game yeah it's just yeah i don't know man it was icky dude i'm sorry it was icky yeah it was bad it was definitely bad it was icky um another thing i feel a little icky about um way less icky obviously i we're, no single intros man I mean, I, I know that you don't love all all the one liners i know we love some like our boy ray rock but I I, I want to know again something I would ask like maybe a mark at the end of the season. Did they record a bunch and they just weren't very good, or they were just like, "Hey, we're changing it up," and since it's going to be everyone meeting everyone, there's really no need for them to do this corny line and then have to go do a cocktail party with them, where it's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna sleep with your man." Oh, no, you're yeah. a cocktail party together. I, I kind of feel like that's what it was, is they're changing it up. And it's not that I don't want to I, – I want to meet everybody. Like, I did like when they had the interest because then I could put a face with the name. And I could write them down. Yeah, it was just more of like um, – I mean, I don't need to see 16 line, like pickup lines. It, that was the thing that – like, I want to see more of the, the party stuff with the time that we get in the hour. So, But I, I that's the one thing, My probably my only negative of this episode is I still don't know everybody. Like when I yeah. look at someone, I don't know who that is sometimes. Um, as far as like the singles, we listen and especially we know like the uh, Temptation Island community watches the show. And so we did get to meet some. Mm-hmm. We're not going to really go crazy this week, guys, on the singles because we really frankly didn't get to learn a lot about you guys. So we did get to see people like Christian. We saw Abby. We saw Marjorie. Uh, I know we saw Atia, Michaela, uh, Tammy. We saw Bryce. Bryce is young, big dude. Uh, He was the solar salesman, but I also thought he was 40. He's like 25 or something. So, (laughs) my bad, dude. Um, Tajik, we saw. Nafisa, we saw. So, I mean, a lot of them. And Michael was the guy, I think, that was like, he looks like Michael A. from The Bachelor. He was the guy that was like, said he used to be fat. And then he had to Mm -hmm. work his way down. So, um, stoked to obviously get to know more about the singles next week as you guys get paired off and frankly we probably lose some so it'd be a little bit easier for us to uh learn everybody shout out to mark Wahlberg again on the way out best in the game awesome awesome um make sure if you're watching this you're like and subscribed here and on tiktok we cover different shows there on tiktok things like love island uh loving uh hip-hop i'm gonna be doing below deck there's gonna be real housewives coverage on there um also like i said make sure you're checking out all of our reviews we have coming up we'll have our buddy ray rock probably on a few reviews we've talked about that be happy to have him on uh but say go back and see some of the interviews we've done including mark Wahlberg, after the season four uh 
re uh, finale. A lot of good stuff as far as behind the scenes and kind of his path through getting to be a reality TV host, which is was at the time, especially a year ago, really, really helpful for guys starting out a small channel. So mm -hmm. um, we really appreciate it. We love this show. We're going to check out the big D as well. This USA show um, that review will be out tomorrow night, but until the next temptation Island episode for myself and Brian, thank you. Peace.